let's see, it's 1-0 for Team Royal Spartans. So if Royal Spartans secure the victory now, they secure the third place and we'll go straight into the final where Team Cataphrax and Team Praetorians are waiting for us. So we haven't seen Team Cataphrax in quite a while, they have a lot of time to prepare. Uh, this third place match is also an opportunity for Team Praetorians to prepare for Team Cataphrax. They, have, they could have watched uh, Team Cataphrax, how they played in the first semi-final. They went for a Slinger plus um, plus Scorpions composition, so no Arches. And yeah, they yeah. just outranged the enemy team, but that was uh, on Marathon. And Marathon is a very good map to, to yeah. play with that sort of a tactic. And the maps for, for final will be all different. We'll have Salernum and... Ooh, my favorite. Yeah, Salernum and then Passage of Augustus. Um, and then if it goes to 2-2, two, two, or 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 uh, we will have a decider on Capitol Hill. Oh, cool. So Augustus Pass, I have definitely look um... forward to Augustus Pass matches. Yeah, I, I mean, I've only actually played on that map once, just yesterday, because it's brand new. Yeah, I saw um, that on the stream, yeah. That's a very interesting map to play. I, I can't believe Yeah, it's the very, diff very different to all do this. Um, I was going to say, am I still Royal Spartan side? No, you're now Naked Fanatics. Uh, no, wait. Yes, you are. Uh, yes, uh, you are now Royal Spartan side. Yeah, you weren't yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, okay. Did I change the overlay? Yes, I did. Okay, so overlay is set correctly. I have uh, six seconds to go into the match. Uh, so Team Naked right. Fanatics looks like they're setting up for a middle slash right side push with cavalry on the left to do some scouting or flanking maneuvers. Now when Team uh, Royal Spartans sees a lot of infantry in the middle and right side, they may decide... Oh, this already, they already have Watchtower. Same for yeah, we've got a Fanatics. massive push coming through the middle. Jojo is just rushing up to the middle to get visibility on the other side. We've got some archer support behind them. So there's a total of nine units in the middle, three cav, three spear, three archer, and two pike. Yeah, but looks like they are not going to push, or maybe they are. They have spotted now uh, scorpions that are now firing in. So that, now they have a much better position. Like before, they just rushed in. The scorpions didn't even manage to set up properly. They just got rushed in, they had to already pull back. Now it's a very different setup. So Dardas manages to get a barrage on Sin. Sin tries to return some damage, but he's just too late. Dardas, Dardas used strain. He's in math, so that's a huge, huge speed debuff. So, despite Sin firing in second, the exchange is pretty equal, and they still have uh, support of specific to equal the damage between those two archer players. It seems like almost all the forces of the Royal Spartans are focused on the center, and there's just one cavalry player out on the left side, X cred. How's it going on the right side for, or left side for Naked Fanatics? I can see they have the watchtower there, but they don't seem to be pressing, pressing yeah, they, forward. Yeah, they just have one cavalry over there, a right. single watchtower and nothing else. We have Tomolus sitting on the second tower, he just left it because, well, that one is completely singled out. That is now going to get X cred going in for a charge from, yep. Is he? Yeah, he is. He's just, he's just going to flank him. He needs three units though to route him correctly, like two, for, uh, to zero morale. So is his friend coming? Is someone someone else coming from there? He's not pulling out, so yeah, he doesn't doesn't seem to have a support. So that's a exchange in favor of Team Naked Fanatics. But yeah, that cavalry managed to give them sight on Rav Rage. Probably got hunted. Yes, one of his units got hunted, and so that allowed for Dardust to just snipe Ravrage from across did, the Did did Xcred Xcred manage to lose one of his units? Because he's only got two cavalry units and I can't seem to locate the third. Oh actually I found it. It's actually yeah. sitting back at the base, sitting sitting behind defending it. Oh so now Sin managed to get a barrage from Dardust thanks to Tomolus sitting on that watchtower. Team Naked Fanatics have secured both watchtowers and they seem to now completely uh, secure the battlefield for themselves. They're Scorpions are well protected, they have set up cow troops and infantry. The Iskra tries to fight an opening, but that's just yeah. not going to happen with an organized team. This is completely different to the game before. The very, both teams seem to be much more cautious, not pushing forward too, too hastily in this one. Yeah, Team Royal Spartans tried to, but they just fell with the initial engage. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dardis... Barro is going for the uh, Watchtower now, and x pushing up to Tomulus. Tomulus now is backing off. 
Seems yeah, he's, like we're going pretty he's, heavy he's on the left side now. Still trying to do some harm to Tomulus, but it's yeah, it doesn't seem like there'd be any point to doing that. It seems crazy. He it did pretty much work. frontal charge on him there. Guess he's coming in for the rear charge now. Oh no, he's changed his mind. He's not just holding him for Barrage. To Barrage is coming up. Yeah, 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 with the pikes. He's with the other, so he's very fast. He can slow down Tomulus with fear. Yes, Tomulus is fear, so he can just he can run away. So we will see some good friendly fire. Pikes. Maybe are engaged and seem to be hitting X cred. Back. Yeah, Barash from Sin punishes Barash heavily. That's almost all of his ins gone, and Sin isn't even full HP. But he still has a lot of soldiers left. So despite him being on low HP, he still has almost all of his, his uh, firepower. But now got a Barash coming in from Dark Dust onto Sin. Yeah, but now the the Royal Spartan team is pushing in. They have lured away uh, Team Naked Fanatics from the middle. And that allowed them to push through the middle as well. So we are seeing the replay, sort of, of the previous battle. But now Team F Naked Fanatics is, um, is in a much better position. Red Duke has brought three of his cavalry units in and around behind the base. Mad PL seems to be pulling back to counter him. Oh no. Yeah. The base is being protected right now by one unit of yeah. uh, pikemen. But that doesn't really do much. Uh, Royal Spartans can just ignore pikes. Seems like they are going to fight at Mini Forest. They're already engaged between Jojo and Kark PL. Brahmadan and Barash are also going in. x red has cover behind. He caught Sin. Uh, Ravage is, is trying to prevent x red from cutting down Sin completely. Uh, Sin, yeah, Sin lost a lot of his firepower right now. So the Archer mismatch is now pretty much neglected. The, both Archers from both Looks like Red Duke is back. coming into the forest to take out the, that Scorpion artillery. Yeah. He's coming in for a charge now. Mad managed to do uh, also find a very good charge on Barosh, a surprising left flank, but Barosh managed to deny it, and he won't route right now. But he's getting cut down by Tomolus, two units of Tomolus and one with Mad PL. He also got unveiled, so yeah, that may not look uh, as good for him. Team of Spartans trying to secure the advantage by pushing through the middle. It looks like they are starting to win slightly, at least in men. But now Galzak is pushing in with his phalanx. Doing a lot of damage to Brahmadan. He's running into it, but he's sacrificing one of his units to keep Gazak in Phalanx to allow Kiwi to just fire in and deal with that Phalanx uh, using Javelins and Barrage from Dark Dust. He's got his back facing the unit as well. It seems like he's not really paid attention to what he needs to do there, Brahmadan. Gazak is about to be surrounded, but Jojo can really commit to that uh, flanking maneuver because Matt is threatening be, yeah. Dark Dust's arches. But Dark Dust's arches, well, they're almost dead. They don't have that much value anymore. So yeah, flanking, getting rid of the phalanx, I guess. It's like, the best oh, oh, very close, Mad PL nearly got Jojo. Yeah, Jojo turned around in time. Mad didn't commit to the charge. So Got the Red Duke coming up for Sin. Into a charge into the side of the cliff. So, yeah, that, that charge dealt more damage to Red Duke's cavalry than to Sin. Yeah, I was very surprised to see him do that, like, right. He charged way too last last chance, last minute there into the cliff. Yeah, you can, you can cancel your charges to not hit the wall, but you just need to do it very quickly in, in yeah. the correct time. So you need to apply the charge to the uh, to the unit that is next to that wall and still not charge that wall, mm -hmm. which is very hard to do so. Very difficult. He was right on top of the wall, so really have to yeah. time it perfectly, I think. It still looks quite equal. There's a lot of uh, naked Fandix forces on the right flank, but Team Royal Spartans have completely rolled through the middle. Specific yep. is done for. Mad PL um, tried to go for um, Dark Dust, but missed his archers. Yeah, he, he now has been Kiwi feared, so he's slowed. Down. Kiwi almost, almost, almost got him. Just about gets away. But he's not routed. Maybe there's some cavalry around to punish, but doesn't look like it. Yeah, the cavalry... No, the Red Duke is still alive. Yeah, he's going into... Uh, he's chasing after Mad right now, trying to punish him. Trying to catch him before he stops writing, but yeah, he just now stopped writing. But it looks like another uh, victory from Team Royal Spartans. This time it Seems was like much, it. much closer, yeah. The core of the naked fan fanatics are now just between these two little sections of the forest, and I think they're going to get surrounded by both Red Duke's cavalry and Barros's pikes. Yeah, Barros's pikes are now oh, dealing a lot of damage to Kark. Yeah, that just that one, the one unit alone of Barros is just preventing Team uh, Naked Fanatics from falling back. Uh, yeah, Team Barros's pikes can just go in and pincer down Team Naked Fanatics and finish the job. Secure their victory. 
that PL is still just causing a little bit of a distraction to the back of um, Dark Dust. He's, he's trying to get in for that charge. Jojo's got him covered. Yeah, Jojo is an expert of protecting the archers. I have trained him well. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he's not letting Mad PL get anywhere near him. And now it's like a, I feel like it's a personal uh, match between Matt, Dark Dust, and Jojo, trying to deal some damage to each other because they know the battle is over. So Jojo has a yeah. point of honor to not let Dark Dust die, and Matt has a point of honor to kill Dark Dust or Kiwi and his range units. Just one unit of spears is protecting uh, the entire team from the cover unit. <laughs> Matt seemed like he just gave up. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to charge in. <laughs> Yeah, he applied anvil so he can now pull back. Well, Tommy just has gone into uh, Testudo formation. The damage might suffer from the charge into Spears, that just doesn't work. Now Barosh is doing some pike things. Multi Addis. He's doing some pike things. <laughs> yeah, the, just pike things. Yeah, Timos is getting it down with uh, by javelins. Yeah, plus it's charges. Got torn apart. That seems like it. Rural Spartans. Yeah, Takes now, the victory. Now the fan favorite. I'll go and impale myself because the battle is over. What's left there? Tomalus and Kark PL with barely, barely health. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's a victory any... for Team Royal Spartans. Oh. A barrage into Matt PL, I saw with, with a glance. Definitely crowd favorite. Right now, right here. Yeah, I don't have any um stakes again, I forgot. <laughs> so oh, my units worry. are just alive. Your your team won, so you don't have to. Right, oh I see Trina, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll make sure to equip them next time though. Alright, GG. That was a much better game I thought. Much I don't know, it just felt like a lot more tactical. It wasn't just like a YOLO rush mid or whatever and get away with it. Oh, well, you know, the, the previous battle was actually that required a lot more coordination to pull that off. I guess because, yeah, it was so quick. It's just I, f I found it very difficult to follow along. But I guess that shows, yeah, it was extremely well coordinated and very, very fast. And that's what yeah. caught um, Naked Fanatics off guard, I reckon. Yeah, that's something bit. that you won't really see in uh, random battles. Like, battle like that you can see mm -hmm. in random battles. Uh, obviously, it's still very, very high coordinated because it's a preset team. Um, but yeah, and the previous battle was just a perfect example of Piolo Midrash and being executed properly. Yeah. Um, or, or how to deal with uh, against Archer, with Archer composition by not having Archers in your composition. If they cavalry, use the cavalry advantage you have uh, by sacrificing uh, the peak of Archers. So ab about picks, both teams have to like mid max. Like there's only seven players, they have to sacrifice something. So some teams sacrifice cavalry, some teams sacrifice infantry, some teams sacrifice archers, and yeah, the the meta evolves. If we can even talk about any meta, because well, it's our first mm -hmm. tournament ever.